In today's new C lesson, we are learning to solve short division sum with remainders. Division is a method of distributing a group of things into equal parts. It gives a fair result of sharing. The division is an operation inverse of multiplication and the main goal of division is to see how many equal groups or how many in each group when sharing fairly. And I'm sure you all know the different parts of division sum. So we have number 9 which is the dividend and the number that is being divided. Then we have number 3 which is a divisor which is the number that is being divided by. And then number 3 which is the quotient or the answer of the problem. And of course we have the division sign. Now it's going to get a little bit tricky because most division problems are not that easy. Up until now you have probably used this division symbol which works well with the very simple division problems like the one that we just solved are in our fact families. But today we're going to be doing some harder problems with multi digits and we need a new division symbol which is this one. And this division sum has exactly the same parts as the other division symbol. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So we have the division sign. 12 which is the dividend, 3 which is the divisor and 4 which is the quotient. Now today we are learning about division with remainder. What is remainder? It is the portion of the dividend that is left over after division and that remainder is always smaller than the divisor. So for example if you want to divide 9 into 2 equal groups there will be 4 in each group and there will be 1 remainder and this is how we show the answer 4 r 1 and that 1 is the remainder or the leftover. Now let's try this division problem 23 divided by 5 we are going to write it in a different symbol 23 which is the dividend and 5 which is a divisor. To solve this problem we need to see how many of the 5 we need to make 23 or almost 23. Now the rule of multi digit division is that we always divide it digit by digit and we always start from the first number on the left and make our way to the right. Now let's look at number 2. How many 5 do I need to make number 2? Ooh, that looks like it's too small. So if it is too small, I'll move to the next number. Now 23. How many fives do I need to make number 23 or almost 23? Now one five is five, too small. Two five is ten, still small. Three fives is fifteen, still small. Four fives is twenty, that looks very close to twenty-three. And five fives is twenty-five, that's too big. So twenty looks like it's our answer. Now it looks like 4 is the good number to pick for our answer, so we put 4 on top. Next we will need to do this step where we multiply the answer by the number of group which is 5 and we'll get the answer 20, which we'll write right below the number that we're dividing by, 23. Now we subtract those numbers to see what our remainder is. 23 minus 3 is 3 and that looks like a good answer because 3 is smaller than 5 which is the number of groups or divisor and it's a reasonable answer. So our answer of 23 divided by 5 is 4 with the remainder of 3 and that's how we write it. Now let's have a look at another problem. 55 divided by 6. Let's write it in a different way. 55 divided by 6. So we need to see how many 6 we need to make 55 or almost 55. This one is a bit tricky so I might need to use a multiplication table to help me work it out. Since I want to know how many 6 I need, I can look at the 6 row on this chart and see all the multiples of 6. Here they are. And we need a multiple that is 55 or almost 55. And it looks like 54 is the closest answer to 55. And to get to 54, we will need 9 sixes, which makes 9 as our answer, which is going to go on top as our answer. So we put number 9 on top as our answer. Next, we will need to do the step where we multiply the answer by the number of groups 6. And we'll get the answer 54, which we will write right below the number that we're dividing up, which is 55. 
Now we subtract those numbers to see what our remainder is. 55 minus 54 is 1 and that looks like 1 is a good answer because it's smaller than 6 which is the number of the groups that we're dividing. So our answer would be 9 with the remainder of 1. Let's try another problem. 85 divided by 7. So we need to see how many of the 7s do we need to make 85 or almost 85. And remember we always do digit by digit and we start from the first number on the left and make our way to the right. So looking at number 8 we need to see how many 7s are in number 8. If you look at the 7's timetable, 1 times 7 equals 7, which is so close to 8. So 1 could be our answer that can go on top. So we put 1 on top and then we'll do our multiplications. 1 times 7 equals 7 and that 7 goes right under number 8 and we do a subtraction. 8 minus 7 equals 1. So our remainder is 1. Now we'll move to the next digit which is 5 but we need to remember that we had a remainder from our last division step and we will need to combine them together by moving that number 5 down right next to our remainder and that turns it into number 15. Now we need to see how many 7s are in number 15. We'll go to our multiplication for our 7. So 1 times 7 is 7, that's not quite right. 2 times 7 is 14 and that's very close to 15. So it looks like 2 is our next answer which is going right on top. So 2 is our answer which is going to go right on top. Then we'll write the answer to our multiplication to 2 times 7 14 right under number 15 and we take it away. 15 take away 14 equals 1. So our remainder is 1. Our answer is 12 with the remainder of 1. Let's try one last problem. 69 divided by 4. So we need to see how many 4s we need to make 69 or almost 69. And as always we start from the first digit on the left and we do it digit by digit and we'll make our way way to the right. So we start with number 6. How many 4s do we need to make number 6? Let's go to our 4s timetable. 1 times 4 equals 4 and 2 times 4 equals 8 which is quite big for number 6. So it looks like 4 is our right answer that is going to go right on top. So we put number 1 on top and the next step is to multiply the answer which is 1 by the number of group which is 4. 4 times 1 equals 4 and that number 4 goes right under 6 and then we do the subtraction. 6 take away 4 equals 2 and that 2 is our remainder. Next we move to the next digit which is number 9 but we need to remember that we had a remainder from our last division step and we will need to combine them together by moving that number 9 down right next to our remainder number 2 and that makes number 29 altogether. Now we need to see how many 4s we need to make 29 and if you look at your number 4s times tables you can see 7 times 4 equals 28 which is so close to 29. So that 28 goes right under number 29 and we subtract those two numbers. 29 take away 28 equals 1. Now the answer to 69 divided by 4 is 17 with the remainder of 1.